Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, we got a few updates. Um, got some hose, got the CO2 kit, got a new daily. Uh, let's go through it. So, I'm still waiting on the engine, unfortunately. Hopefully, it'll be ready this week. It should be ready today, but uh, we're still waiting to hear from them. But we have a few updates. I got some hose from uh, <clears throat> the MRS beautiful hose um, this is a PTFD hose you get a swivel on one end and the other end is fixed so you can you know you can swivel it you just attach the fixed end first and then you uh, attach the swiveled end but uh, these hoses are rated up to 500 psi of pressure uh, I'm using them on all the fuel stuff so anything where methanol is um, I put uh, I put this hose here because methanol kind of corrodes everything and it's you know we want to run a really high fuel pressure so we got a little Bosch 044 primer pump so it sucks from here this is the uh, the drain this is the feed to the pump that guy is the return and you just feed it here there's a little vent over here that I can block here whatever we're not using it um, we also wired sorry we also plumb the uh, the catch can setup so I'm gonna have uh, that big hose coming from the back that's going to the catch can this is a 12 to one cover a 12 to the other valve cover and this big 20 is gonna go to the block I gotta shorten it but there's a fitting on the block on this side that's gonna feed to that so big thanks to Renee at Centerline for doing this for me this is the uh, crankcase pressure to see how much crankcase pressure is building but yeah I'll show you the hose so this hose even though it's it's PTFE it's very flexible like it flexes like crazy see so yeah all the fuel hoses are changed to this now uh, what else we got CO2 set up this is all new to me so we got the motion uh, motion raceworks CO2 kit has an adjustable valve here uh, 2.5 bottle it uses these uh, push lock fittings I don't know I'm kind of biased about this push lock plastic hose I was always worried about it but uh, I don't know it's not really good for heat but it's gonna be away from heat as much as possible so it runs from inside and it comes here and it feeds these two solenoids and when you have CO2 you need an increased solenoid and a decreased solenoid and then this this sensor is wired to the ECU to see how much the gate pressure is going to be and then if it's too much then it'll, it'll decrease it from here but that's basically the, the setup for the CO2 <clears throat> um, we sold the intake manifold the intake manifold is gone and I'm getting uh, a Hypertune 18 injector so I had to add another set of uh, injector plugs I'm waiting on the plugs but yeah the harness will have three of these plugs and uh, we'll have 18 injectors so this loom will stay with the intake manifold and then you just plug it into here so that way uh, you know you just if you pull the intake off you just you just pull it off pull this off and everything stays with the car but all 20 gauge wire mil spec wire so it's all the good stuff so yeah should get the injectors the manifold should come soon that's a surprise we picked some cool colors with that yeah so anyway the co2 kit comes with these fittings pretty cool so it's got like a nylon nylon plastic at the end there so it seals and it comes with this kind of push lock hose so you just push it in and it locks in there it's got to be mounted away from heat but it's pretty convenient because you just pretty much push it in and it's clean so I will be giving these gates about you know 100 pounds of 
of CO2. So keep them shut. Uh, what else do we do? Uh, I, I fixed back here a little bit. I changed this to a push to turn off. It used to be a pull. Uh, I didn't like it where it was a pull because everybody's used to it as a push. I don't know if you've seen the catch gun here. So that big hole is coming from the front. It comes here and it feeds this big ass catch can here and it breathes the atmosphere. I got a little drain here so you can, you know, just drain the catch can whenever you want. But yeah, I made a little mechanism there. So you push the turn off. So you're pushing here, it pulls this cable and there's a cable over there. There's a cable there that pulls the shot off but uh, kind of save weight so I didn't want this in the back because if you put this guy in the back this is it, you have to put like a thick gauge from the battery to there so I wanted the, the, the cutoff to stay with the battery so figured a little cable would work good you literally just you know you just push it here that's it and it shuts off and you don't have to hear that annoying beep anymore but uh yeah we're basically waiting on the engine kind of getting tired of waiting hi, hi. <laughs> yep so i think it's pretty clean right so put a little piece of carbon there you can see inside so you can see when it fills up yep uh we got a new daily uh, 2020 Tundra Sport mm, pretty cool front end is painted the old one that I had was a 4x4 so it had all the chrome there but this is the 2020 20 inch wheels it's got the uh, Android Auto Apple CarPlay with the push button start you know it's mostly to pull the car I use it to pull the car to the track and it works well. I mean, these drives to Texas and Florida, it struggles a little bit, but you know, it does the job. So yeah, that's the new daily. But yeah, hopefully next week we get the engine. I gotta figure out how to run that big hose down there. I got a little valve for it, like a drain. Uh, I think it's somewhere here. I got this guy here. So this is going to connect in between those two hoses from front to back. And then if you... Because what happens is when it starts pushing crankcase oil through that hose, the hose starts filling up and then you can't just let it sit there. So I'm going to put this in the middle and then you just drain it. So you don't, it doesn't build up that junk in there. But... Uh, yep so yeah like i said hopefully next week we'll get the engine and we'll put it in i'll be ready to go stay tuned next video will probably be with the new intake manifold pretty excited you can see the the new colors that i picked it's pretty cool i'm not going to tell you what color it's going to be but it's different all right catch you later take care